Good afternoon. I'm Karen Drew. First at four, the nasty weather made it an unpleasant day on the picket line for UAW workers, but word of a tentative agreement lifted their spirits even as they wonder what's in the offer from General Motors. Business editor Rod Maloney has been working his sources since noon. Rod, what do we know about the deal? Well, what we found out is that in large measure, the UAW is getting what it was mostly uh, concerned about. For instance, uh, the health care stays the way it is. That's probably the best in the nation, health care. It's not going to cost any more. They got plant allocations they wanted. Now, not everything that they wanted, but they got some. There are going to be signing bonuses, substantial signing bonuses for the rank and file. Temporary employees will get a pathway to full-time employment. That was one of the major issues on the picket line that people were most concerned about. And there are other things that uh, we can tell you about as well. But let's talk about this. You're looking at the uh, UAW uh, Local 174 picket line in Ypsilanti at the service parts operation there. Um, we were there uh, just before noontime when the word came out that they had a tentative agreement. And uh, you can best uh, believe that the, the chili picketers were happy to hear that the TA is at least on the table to be looked at. I'm happy that we have a tentative agreement, uh, but based on uh, just waiting on the details for it. Uh -huh. I'm happy. I hope it's what they say it could be. Uh -huh. You're a little, a little nervous, a little concerned? I always concerned. You've yeah. been around this a while. Uh, long enough to know better. Because that means that this could come to an end. And that's what we want. All we want is, is justice on what's supposed to be taken care of in this country as far as the workers. That's all we want. What's it been like for you out here? Cold, but willing to stay out here one more day for a good agreement. Well, that's the mantra of last one more day than General Motors. And of course, the next step in all of this comes tomorrow morning uh, at 1030 a.m. The National Sub Council, it's called. It's going to be local shop committee chair people and presidents are going to be here. They're going to get the details uh, directly from the union. They don't have them even now at this point. Uh, they're going to then decide whether to approve that tentative agreement. If they do, then they look to bring it to the rank and file uh, in a process called ratification. But we have to wait and see what they think of this deal tomorrow, probably around noontime. We'll have a better feel for it. Karen, back to you. So, Rod, how does that ratification process work and how long could that take? Well, you know, that's the interesting part about all of this is that it traditionally takes two weeks. In other words, they bring the deal to the locals. They have uh, education sessions, usually two or three or four of them, where the differing shifts can come in, get the details of the contract. There's a vote usually within days or two thereafter. Those votes get counted. And then at the, at the very end, the union decides whether it's a ratified contract or not. It usually takes two weeks. In this case, you can best bet the UAW is going to look to expedite that process and maybe get it done in a week or even less. We'll have to see. All right, we'll check back with you for the latest tonight at 5. The strike has already taken a heavy toll on General Motors, UAW workers, and even the state of Michigan. New numbers from the Anderson Economic Group show 1.5 billion profits lost for GM. Employees have lost 835 million in direct wages. And the state of Michigan has lost more than $18 million in income tax revenue alone. Our coverage continues at 5 and 6. As Rod said, he is going to take a closer look at what is in this deal. That's tonight at 5. And then at 6, he's talking to someone who will be in that room tomorrow as the union considers the offer. We'll always have updates on ClickOnDetroit.com where there's also a detailed timeline of how we got where we are today. You'll find that on the homepage.